uh, but uh, Simon Clark hit the front. It was Tadej Pogacar, the pre-event favourite, that decided to springboard to potential glory. More than 50 kilometres of the day remaining. Esper Askren and Alejandro Valverde then taking up the chase behind, but he had plenty in hand and time to savour the moment as Tadej Pogacar, 23 years of age, took his first victory in Strade Bianchi. Yates is there, Vengegaard, Tadej Pogacar, the defending champion of the Tour de France, is not there. Wout van Aert's yellow jersey, this is a furious attack to win the stage. Wout van Aert is going to win today's stage. He looks around, he sits up, he it. it's seven stage wins in the Tour de France. Van Aert with an absolute masterpiece. The sprint Jacobson. behind. Reduced group came together despite the best efforts of the Dutchman from Ampersen Fenix, he was hunted down. So it came down to a reduced bunch sprint with the unlikely sight of Domenico Pozzovivo leading out Binium Gramai with Mattia van der Poel on his wheel. Van der Poel almost came close to Gramai, but Gramai held on to take the first ever win for Eritrea at the Giro d'Italia, a moment of history in the making. Who is going to take the stage win? Ivanapol is going to break the heart of the first red jersey of this race. And Mass is going to try and go with him to beat him on the line. But it's going to be, I think, another victory for Remco Ivanapol, who puts it in a big gear, sprints as though he's on a flat stage. And what a stage won finally by Remco Ivanapol. Attack of Jonas Vengegaard going for glory. And Pogaccia can't quite hold the wheel of Rafael Maika. Vengegaard with an assault on yellow. Suddenly, everything is coming to a standstill. It has been a blockbuster. It has been a race of incredible proportions. But the man with the courage, the man with the aim of the yellow jersey takes the stage. What a win. Jonas Vengegaard. On the Poggio as Tonelli and Rivi were caught. Then over the top of the Poggio, this man, Matej Moric, the Slovenian national champion, hit the descent and stretched out a lead, distancing Van Aert, Pogacar and the rest. With one kilometre remaining, he had enough of an advantage to hold off the chase and take the win. Here goes Tom Pitcock. A big attack from the British rider, the Olympic mountain bike champion, revs it. Pidcock riding through that crowd safely. 6,300 metres to go. When the tour came to Yorkshire, he was there watching as a school kid. Now he wins on Alp d'Huez. Tom Pidcock arrives at the world tour of the Tour de France. A debut and a win on the famed climb of Alp d'Huez. The four men quickly opened up a 40-second gap on Van Aert, Van der Poel and the rest, and on sector five, Van Baal decided to go solo. The 29-year-old Dutchman from Ineos Grenadiers gives them their first win in the Paris-Roubaix. Dylan Van Baal, monument winner, solo victor of the 119th Paris-Roubaix.